this is the cheapest pedal upgrade you can find for your build sense but is it worth your wallet time and sweat one of the functionality that people want on their controller is extra buttons which why there is plethora of controller manufacturers adding their product with extra buttons the basic layout of the controller still adds input which succeeded the input it's simple it's easy and pretty much standardized at this point you can have extra buttons but basic button is still the same 16 buttons with two pieces 360 degree directional input stick however being standardized does not mean the best because everyone has a different hand profile does extra button really helps in this case especially like me who use thumbstick button very often clicking and operating the joystick at the same time is not convenient hence i always map the back button with the joystick click regular first party controller don't have this in fact they slap a pro on their controller and mark up at least three times the non-pro version not everyone have that kind of money just for extra buttons on a device that has consumable parts but what if you can modify a bit with just plugging some cable a bit of quick soldering job you can get the benefit of a pro surely if it's not hard enough i think most people will try to do it I think at this point you are aware that this thing is no different from extremely red rice kit and you are exactly correct this thing is almost an exact copy to extreme too this thing is almost an exact copy to extreme red with added functionality extreme red rice selling at $40 while this over around $20-22 there are also four buttons version of this at 40 bucks i definitely will not spend that much money for 70 bucks controller since it just made the button has more worth than the controller which doesn't make sense this is just at the level of scalper price the box details and the advert in the website is quite different the brand on the box is from worm but the brand inside the manual is mokot it also say it support bdm030 but i don't see any cable or extra thing inside indicate the bdm030 board the menu details is aligned with the website so you do get for what you see inside the packaging they gave you a screwdriver pry tools and six extra screw the cables and the back cover with the module installed the cable itself is similar to extreme red cable and surprisingly is a very good quality it's not thin or feels cheap and it does feel premium they also said they use omron micro switch on this version and it does feels good to install this they do provide a guide in their website which is the shop that i bought this thing it does show you what is what but they skip the thumbstick and touchpad which requires soldering so i end up just use extreme red guide to install this kit the soldering job is easy there are only three points you want to solder but it was super simple three bucks usb iron will do the job for this kit i think for the difficult part that will be assembly the wires it does get complicated and since the dual sense they use plug-in cable slot all of them can be quite tight to remove and insert the guide also requires you to cut accordingly whichever board you have just a tip you don't need to cut the cable i try on both boards i don't see any reason why you need to cut the flex cable in fact if the manufacturer just provide boost cable for us it is much more easier and avoid you cutting the wrong part many of 020 board and 010 board component are not compatible to each other including the flex cable more about not cutting the cable later on if you die correctly when you switch on your controller you should get a center red light indicating a power the kit has three profile which has a very tight button to use and you can map all three with different mapping to map the button you just need to press map pedal you want to configure the button you want to map then press map again same things with turbo press turbo first press pedal and press turbo if you want to clear the mapping of turbo press either then long press again it should flashing rapidly then your profile is clear overall function wise it done the job very well and perhaps with turbo functionality it does make it better than extreme rate rice kit however regardless how good and smart you are it still means nothing if you make people uncomfortable with you and this is what i felt with this pedal kit 
By the way, the controller I use here is BDM020, a new one where the red one in the early part of the video is broken because I use it for another mod and it broke. Still repairing and not sure how it will go but that's for another video. Back to pedal mod. This thing make my relationship with DualSense controller awkward. No matter how I hold it, I can make it comfortable. The back side sit at 12mm height and the pedal height at 8mm. This kit or the version is similar to Xtreme Red but both models thickness is obstructing my finger movement. Since this pedal is so high, I tend to make accidental input and this is not great. You still can modify this by 3D printing a new component and use heat source to soften and bend the pedal. But for general user, this is not what it's in the expectation. You also cannot make the base thinner or turn the pedal another way around. So you start with this shape. Another thing is, even if you can operate this, you will compensating the grip strength on the controller because you need to grip with two fingers instead of three fingers. I can adapt to use this by using two fingers grip style but that's like pushing myself to like a poor design product. About not cutting the cable, yeah. You don't need to. Initially, I installed on BDM010 port and since it's broke, I need to switch to BDM020. These two boards are not compatible. So, if I follow the guide, I will start with a useless kit. What I did was, I just bend the cable that I don't need and if I'm afraid of short circuit, I just tape the end with heat resistant tape. I also don't use the double sided tape to stick it to the battery. This way, if I want to remove it, I don't need to bother with incompatibility and also helps me to resell this in the used market. So does 20 bucks worth it? For me, comfort is number one priority and this thing don't serve me. Ergonomics is different with different person. I do think you get for what you paid for. I mean, it's 20 bucks and if you want to try, this is probably the cheapest you will get with pedal kit mod. My advice is install it without soldering first or cutting a cable. Try it in game with bumper button map to back button or other button you want. Try this in game for 1-2 days and if you like it, then just proceed to do full assembly. In this case, for me, I rather use empty no back button shit on my DualSense and I will do much better in game. Since I play on PC, there are many other controllers with back button. There is worth more to invest than this remake kit. That's all about it. If you like what you saw and want to support me, keep making this video, consider to press those thumbs up button. All of my review and mod is just by my own, so your likes, subs and comment keep me awake in the middle of the night. Okay, bye. See ya.